Every Saturday night, Masters of Illusion takes over the CW. Yes, and this morning we are very thrilled to be joined by one of the stars of tomorrow night's episode, Jonathan Levitt, joining us live. Good morning, sir. Thanks for being with us. Good morning to you, all of you. How are you doing this morning? Good. Fantastic. So, okay, so you are uh, you are more than a magician. You're producer, actor, but as I understand, ma magic is kind of infused into everything you do. Oh. Uh, magic is infused into everything I do. That's a very good way to say it. Uh, whether I've been a television host on television shows yeah. for different networks, whether I've been uh, a consultant in film and television, whether I've been an actor in front of the camera, producing, uh, all of those things are separate, but also when I can bring magic into them, it's a win. I love yeah. it. I've been doing magic for nearly 45 years. How did you wow. get started in magic? My father. Oh, really? Oh, right. so my dad was a magician as a young man and uh, out of New York and up in Canada, and uh -huh. he would perform. And that's really it. I found when I was eight years old, I found some of his magic props in the bottom drawer of a dresser in our basement in St. Louis, Missouri. That's where I grew up. Uh -huh. And uh, and the rest is history. I found a Ooh. bunch of tubes with dragons painted on them <laughs> and what have you, uh, all from Tannen's Magic Shop in New York City. Oh, and. Wow. And uh, and that was it. And I was growing up. I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, which is a uh, has a rich history in magic. Uh -huh. And so mm. I was very fortunate to be surrounded by amazing people. And then uh, when I finally moved out to Los Angeles in 20, 26 years ago uh, and became aligned with the Magic Castle, yeah. uh, even more wonderful opportunities to meet and be mentored. And it's been amazing. Do you remember the first magic trick you learned? <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> You know what? It's funny you say that. Uh, I do. I remember the first magic trick I performed in front of an audience. Okay. Okay. What was it? It was a card trick. I'm not oh, doing that for you today. Okay. okay. No, 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 no. I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what, a, what are you a, doing? But you, you don't want to see it. Okay. No. You don't want to see it. But you do uh, have a trick for us. It was us, a card correct? trick, though, and it was fun. And my dad showed it to me, and Aww. it was an elimination effect, and we the card was found, and. And, uh, and I felt like a hero. How cool. Of course you did. I love that. I'll so, the card. Uh, you do have a trick for us, though, today, correct? Um, I do have a trick for you. Would okay. you like, look, here's the, here's the thing. We're, it's about connections. In this world, right, it's about making connections. And this way is even more interesting than it's ever been because okay. look right. what we're doing. We're, we're even distance. Yeah. We're, we're talking to each other. It's like we're here. So I'm going to let me try. We'll just see how this works. Okay. This could go off the rails. We'll okay. Okay. E okay. Okay. You remember these from school, right? Chalkboards, yeah, chalk yep. Oh, look at okay. this. Good day. All right. I'm going to try... I'm going to try something here. I'm going to make... I don't know much about the two of you, right? I've only been watching you a little mm -hmm. bit. Uh, so, so, so you don't like what you've seen so far. Okay. No, I, I like it. I like it very much. Oh. I like it very much. Okay, so I've got... I'm committing myself here. Okay. okay. And we're going to see how aligned the, the three of us are. Okay? Okay. okay. So in fact, here's what I'm gonna ask for. Would you, one of you, would you give me a, um, let's do a, uh, how about the day you were born? Okay, January 22nd. So we're gonna say 22, okay? And how about hmm, uh, the last, uh, actually, let's do this. Um, the last two digits of one of your phone numbers. Eight, six. And then let's finish that off with, how about a two digit number, two or three, whatever you want. Uh, that I couldn't. That means something to you, but I couldn't know because I could. I could have. I could have Facebook researched. Right. You. Okay. Okay. Ten. Ooh, I like that one. Okay. So, you said twenty-two. Uh -huh. You said eighty-six, and you said ten. Right. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh huh. All right. I'm just gonna. It's interesting. I'm just gonna add this up. <laughs> I'm glad you are because math is not my strong suit. Uh -huh. <laughs> Well, that's a that's a fair point. Yeah. That's a fair, fair point. We're on TV for a reason. Yeah. <laughs> that's fair. I mean, I do this this way for a yeah. reason as yeah. well. Yeah. But just to confirm, you said 22, you said 86, and you said 10. Yes. Uh -huh. Now, I couldn't know those numbers. Right. You chose those numbers. We end up with that number right there. Correct. Yes. Okay. Indeed. Now, I've committed myself. That's yes. the number. Yeah, you did. You all can see that. Yes. I see it. 118. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh man, Jonathan. Let's see it. What the heck? Come on. Come oh, on. No. Unbelievable. No. no. What? What? Unbelievable. We are aligned. What? What the heck? I was watching, like looking for yes. something. Yes. All right.
Uh, Jonathan Levitt, that was fantastic. You can <laughs> see him tomorrow night on Masters of Illusion. Aaron here on CW31 after the River Cats. You game. got me with that sir, one, sir. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for having me on. Cheers. Cheers.